Hey, what's up you guys? It's Taylor here again at Casones RV in Mesa, Arizona. I'm gonna try to make this video pretty quick. It's like 105 degrees out here. It's super hot today, but in front of me, we have a Black Series, and this is the HQ12 edition. And you're probably not, unless you're out looking for this RV specifically, you're probably not going to run in, into it um, in particular. I haven't, and I sell RVs. Um, here for a living. So this is definitely something even new for me. This is a Black Series HQ12 um, It has a lot to offer and they pack a whole lot in to this very short uh, travel trailer So right off the bat in the front here, we have kind of uh, a sway bar um, Hitch you do have a special hitch that is inside of the uh, RV that you hook up to your vehicle for this vehicle um, but that gives you kind of uh, a really nice, uh, it's basically a really nice stabilizing hitch uh, that does sway for you when you're going down the road. In the front, we have these two, uh, one's a storage compartment, which is this side here, front storage compartment. You can also kind of set things down in there. And the other side over here is where your propane is located. We've got two propane tanks here on the inside of the RV. This is a pop out of the top canvas, so we have an extra foot um, or so on the inside that uh, pops up. So you can stand up in the RV, even if you're six feet tall, you are going to be able to stand up in this RV without an issue. We've got uh, this extension piece out here that uh, is basically a huge grill. Let's see if I can pick it up. There we go. So we've got the three burner here. And then we've got the sink over on the left-hand side over there. This extends out, has a leg, the leg picks up, and then it just slides back into that place, that slot all the way through there. Really nice piece for outside uh, kitchen and cooking. And in here is kind of your big, uh, bigger storage space. On the outside, you've got that hitch adapter uh, up there for the vehicle on the front. We do have... Uh, basically a table out here on the outside that folds sideways out of the side of the RV that just folds up flat against it when it's closed. Let's walk around the outside here. On the back, we have two full spare tires. We've got full solar on the top. This is um, gonna be able to run, um, charge those batteries for as long as you want on those solar panels. So you can run uh, the power just off of the solar panels, although, just like you know anything I you know you're gonna have to be plugged in to run an AC or something more powerful but you can run your lights and electronics off of just those solar panels off of the batteries that are on the inside they're stored underneath the uh, seat when we head in there I'll just show you kind of where those are at but uh, well, let's walk around the front and over on the other side here so we've got um, this red bar that goes around the whole outside to kind of um, I don't know, I guess this would definitely be to protect the outside of the RV on either side from getting uh, banged up. We've got an outside shower, we've got a 30 amp plug in here, that's the other side of that stove here on the outside. And um, we've got these uh, backside kind of industrial size, um, commercial size uh, back uh, brake lights. We do have, um, these are some manual, you do have four stabilizing jacks, two in the front, two in the back. Uh, you have four manuals, you just pull this lever and then that uh, leveling jack is going to fall, uh, fall down. Now this is uh, made to be off-road, this has independent suspension. Black Series is uh, made out of Australia. This is made to be off of the grid completely and you do have these uh, clips on the back, not clips, but uh, basically kind of like tow bars, uh, if you will, on the back here to be able to pull it out of an area if for some reason you get stuck. I believe that's really what those are for, although maybe you could, I don't know, pull something additionally behind it. I don't know if they're uh, made really for that. They're made to pull it out is kind of what I presume because this is made to go behind a truck and anywhere a truck can go. Uh, like I said, that independent suspension, you do have the off-road tires. Sorry, I'm out here by the road. But let's head on inside and see what we have on the inside. Right to my left-hand side, we have a Dometic refrigerator here. 
We have these uh, drawers throughout that have a latch on the inside that you push the button to release them and open them up. On the inside, we do have three burners right here off to the left-hand side. We do have your sink, your faucet sink, and we do have the microwave. And right across from that, we've got your shower. Um, now, your shower uh, has, just like everything else in here, has that extension uh, to the canvas part of the top of this RV. So this is up right now. You can unzip that canvas part um, or close it back up just like you can all the way around the RV. But if you do, you can expect to get in water because behind the canvas is made to protect against water. You can have this up in the rain. You have to have these closed though because of course water is going to come in uh, through the just uh, screen part if you don't have these closed up. You've got your toilet in here. Great space in front of the toilet. Sometimes these can be really confined when you have a toilet in a shower. Uh, this is not. You have plenty of space in front of the toilet and a really nice shower and lots of space in the shower. If you're just taking a shower, you've got the uh, portable shower head that you can use there. You've got your solar hookup. You've got a radio here for the outside and inside speakers. You have up there on the top one on the outside of this RV here. Your batteries are going to be underneath of this seat on the inside and to the left hand side under that seat is storage. You have the center table here. This is by no means permanent. This is actually attached to a drawer on the bottom side here. This comes down and goes into the underside of the bed. The bed does not lift up for storage because on the outside that's where you have both the storage and the outside pullout for that uh, grill but this does push down and go completely um, inside of underneath of the bed and completely disappear and turns into a drawer flush with the bottom of that bed. On the right hand side we have your TV that swivels out here for your bed. This is a twin, this is a sorry, this is a queen size bed. Uh, it's just facing the wrong direction, it's hard to tell. This is a, they've kept this RV in really nice shape. There are a couple issues that they have pointed out to us We've got some of the, um, basically, whether it's the paper or the kind of the wall peeling back, you can see there also up at the top. It's not due to any water damage. They've made note of this. They're trying to go through their warranty uh, to go through and uh, fix that um, because, of course, that shouldn't happen. But it's not first and it won't be the last thing that I've ever seen an issue happen on an RV. That's for sure. But um, looking at this myself and the way that they've uh, structured this RV, it is made very sound. If you look at, um, if you go and look at other RVs, they actually do go into detail of how well these are structured and kind of show the actual manufacturing of them and the underside of the actual RV, which is made to be very hardy. Of course, if you're taking on any rocks or bumps underneath of the RV and having those bars around it. It's made to be very structurally sound and be, again, pulled behind a truck and go places that a truck can go, as well as the inside. But I've never seen an RV that doesn't ever have a factory defect, so that's just one of the things that we're going to have to take care of. We do have, above this queen-size bed, a bunk up here. So you have this bunk up here that is totally out of the way and separate, and you've got, uh, of course, the the couches underneath, they do not, you can still sit down in them and have this bunk down, although you can pick up the bunk, it's latched right now, but you can pick up the bunk and tilt it up against that. You also have this uh, extra piece here that folds up so that somebody doesn't roll off the bed essentially, but that can come down as well. You do have an AC unit, of course, definitely needed in any RV in Arizona, that's for sure. Uh, right here in the center of the RV, this is definitely a small enough unit to where you do not need more than one AC. That's going to be perfectly, that Dometic AC is going to be perfectly enough to keep this RV cool. You've got a speaker here right above me on the inside, speaker here um, above the bed over here. And as far as um, this RV, I'm just filming myself. I can't pick it up or pick it down pick it down right now. I actually probably could with one hand if I wanted to. But you have basically this latch right here. You need to make sure that's locked when it's up. It won't just fall down on you, but you want to make sure that's locked into place when it's up. You unlatch that, and then it comes down. And when you go to push it up, you undo that latch, and you kind of pull this lever to pick the top up, and it's not heavy. Um, and you also just go down here to kind of pick up the other side if it didn't completely pick up and you just grab that handle of the bar and push it up. You do have some really nice LED lights throughout this. Um, you've got um, right 
above the bed all the way down you also actually have a couple in the shower that aren't on right now fantastic fan right there above the shower i don't know if i pointed out the microwave down here as well and there's just so many other little details that it would just take a really long video to show every little thing but things like this mirror uh, extension that comes out just kind of again very uh, very good utilization of the space and I do have a lot of people coming in and asking me for um, Something that is small but has this 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 and that this does have all that now granted with that This is a relatively expensive travel trailer um, in comparison to any normal trailer travel trailer We're listing this for forty four thousand dollars and that's actually a very good price comparison to the actual new ones, which this HQ12 MSRP is about $80,000 plus everything else. But um, the reason these are relatively more expensive is because, of course, their structure, their off-road capabilities. I've actually seen teardrop campers uh, that uh, have off-road capabilities that start at $50,000 just with the teardrop cab in them, kind of a back kitchen um and some other little things but it's not it has literally like one tenth of all of the items that are in this rv so believe it or not even though these are a little bit more expensive uh these are really a good value for what all is packed into this little travel trailer i've seen i see a lot more in this travel trailer than i see in some 35 foot uh travel trailers so that's the whole purpose is to be able to pull this behind a truck be able to go uh, kind of off the grid to still have power and uh, to be able to get out there and not have to worry about uh, really damaging or hurting the RV in any way. Well guys, that's it. I'm sure you probably have some questions. Leave them down in the comment section. I know I didn't cover everything because there's so many little other details that I didn't cover like this on the uh, RV, but just let me know down in the comment section your questions or concerns if you're interested in this RV specifically You can reach out to us. I will leave our website down in the description below So if it's on there, it's still for sale and you can call us at 480-357-5200 I will leave my that phone number down in the description below. My name is Taylor You can ask for me and again if you just have any other questions just in general if there's anything I can answer for you specifically about this unit because they don't make a, a whole bunch of that specific uh, number every time the HQ 12 they have HQ 20s they have other um, series as well that I really don't even know about but again I don't run into them very often so if there's any questions I can answer for you just let me know as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video